We are all about competitors, hunters, and operators. And within that, operators means anybody that does this kind of thing for a job. Law enforcement, marksman, sniper, or military sniper. These are those videos directed specifically towards marksman cops. Today, I'm gonna to show you a couple of more little tips that I've learned over the years. Uh, one, with slings. Uh, if you thought this was just to hold your rifle, there's a lot more uses to this. I'm gonna show you a way that you can get more stable handheld shots uh, with your sling. And, and then I'm gonna show you another positional shot you can take using your sling that you have on you. And then third is going to be a positional barricade shot with a barricade bag. Uh, I have promoted the fact that I think cops should have a barricade bag in their kit, in their car. You just never know when you might need it. All right guys, so we've got our sling on, right? Typically hanging it, center body, just hanging down, use it to rest, whatever. We can get it up and we can do what we need to do quickly with it. It's usually mounted somewhere, if you're running a single point, back towards the rear. I personally recommend single points as opposed to two points, but you do what you want. This is These tips are for single point slings. A method here that we can use to get more stable at uh, standing off hand shots, because I don't know about you, but you know, a standing off hand is not an easy shot to take all by itself. So if there's anything I can do that makes it more stable, I wanna know that. One thing that I like is to have a mounted position a little bit further up onto your hand guard here. So for me, I just like this little clip and I can move it up to my handguard itself. And now when I go to press my gun out into my shoulder, there is a lot of tension on there. I can hold the gun with my hand like this. So as I'm pushing out and I lock this elbow out, now I'm extremely stable, at least a lot more so than your typical standing off hand shot where you're getting a lot of wobble. This just puts tension into that system, gives you something to press against. And it's kind of like resting up against a pole or a post or something like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take some shots up there. This is standing offhand at about 165 yards. You'll see shots on target up there, hopefully. A lot more stable than your standard offhand, so that's a good tip I wanted to pass along to you guys. Coming up, number two. Another good tip uh, for the law enforcement professional, you're out in the field, you need to take a longer, more stabilized shot. Prone is blocked, but you've got your sling. I've got this, I just looked around my environment and I found a way to connect my sling up here to this support on this pole, and then that leaves this strap down here hanging for me. Now I'm gonna put my rifle in here, take some shots. I'll give you some B-roll of this setup and a little bit closer up, but I'm gonna take some shots out here again, 165 yards um, on this target with uh, just using this sling. So that's tip number two. Look around your environment. Find a way to put your sling on something like this and you can shoot off of that very stable. Third tip is, again, using your environment with special tools to be able to take longer, more precise aimed fires. So this is a thing where you need to get behind some kind of cover, I don't know, garbage, steel garbage can might stop pistol rounds. Anyway, you've got time on your side, right? This is not an active killer situation going on. You can set up a position that gives you some Concealment at the very least, maybe cover as a marksman, and you got to be able to take a stable shot off of this garbage can. Place it down on the can, and now we've got a flat, stable position to shoot from. So the target you're going to see me hitting out there is at 260 yards, kind of like a little small, like a, it's not small, it's big actually, but it's a white buffalo you'll see. Again, using the 36 yard zero, I know my drop data is good out to 300.
All right, guys, thanks for watching today. So those three tips again, standing offhand, using your sling, you can press into that, really get a good stable position. Use your sling in your environment to hang it down, creates a loop, and you can shoot through that a lot more stable than you can without a sling. And the third tip was use a barricade bag on various types of obstacles, and you can get a nice, solid shooting uh, platform uh, from, from which to engage your targets. So uh, hopefully uh, that appeals to you cops out there making these videos specifically for you guys. Thanks for watching. Smash that subscribe button, share the videos for me, and stay tuned for more great videos from Precision Rifle Network.